in as much as people were trying to blame my accident on him, I told them, hey, come on, we are all here to just do something. I'm not sure Jato will watch me and allow me to run into this wall. All right, then. my name is Martin Sedin Amsapo, but you can just call me Sedi. Uh, the housemate in the Perfect Match Extra season one. That's just all about me. Most memorable moment, I would say, was the time when I got hurt. And then the reactions of my, uh, my fellow housemates, how they were so compassionate. And I think most of them got to know my strength from there because I wasn't playing uh, cuddly, wanting attention and all of that. They can see that this guy actually is man enough for himself and he's standing up for his pain. And I don't want anybody to be blamed. So I realized Jato actually got to know that this is a, somebody who actually owns up to his responsibilities. Because in as much as people were trying to blame my accident on him, I told them, hey, come on, we are all here to just do something. I'm not sure Jato will watch me and allow me to run into this wall. So I think that made me and, I, and him build a serious bond and we've taken it from there up to now. Yeah, coming out of the house, I realized one significant gap in society, which means uh, most often, there is lack of continuity in terms of people saying we don't have role models and all of that. So I realized that something needs to be done. So I went back straight to my town called Mafia Jidoma in the Volta region, where I reached out to a woman who has dedicated almost all of her life to just helping other people. And so she was once a nun in Brazil, and then she has to pack back to Ghana, and then precisely Ajidome to just come and help young girls who were deprived and doesn't have the means to afford uh, basic education, thought less of tertiary education. So she spent almost all of her life trying to put them through school. And so I decided to uh, partner with a few friends so that we tell her story to the world, so that people know that there are still good people out there who are ready to help others and also to encourage people who want to ply that trade and also just give our heroes and heroines our they are their roses whilst they are still alive and so coupled with that i visit uh, i visited a, a a catholic this thing what do we call it home for uh, kids who are dis disabled and then i spent a whole day together with them with a couple of friends so that we have fun and all of that so yeah I've been up to that and a whole lot more, but let me just limit it to just this too. <laughs> it feels great. It feels great because, you know, we came from various different backgrounds and just met for just a couple of days and some of us bonded. And there were skirmishes and <laughs> a whole lot of fights. And to think of it, that's the beauty of it. And us coming back together, I'm sure there will be a whole lot of makeups and a whole lot of breakups as well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to just about the drama of it. Well, I'm looking forward to an upgrade in almost everything because knowing the, the, the producers of this particular program, there are people who just don't sit down to just, nah, there's always an upgrade. They are like the apples and then the, the tech guys when it comes to this. So I, I trust them and I'm looking forward to something much more better and bigger than we experienced. So basically. And then to... The new uh, housemates, I think I all I would just tell them is to be re your real self. Be somebody that when you are out of the house, you can be able to live up to. Don't try to put up a character that at the end of the day, you may not be able to just justify. I mean, when posterity decide to judge you. So for me, that's just about it.